hi guys today in this video we are going to discuss about the facial emotion detection using image processing here i have taken the data set of the uh, facial emotion expression 2013 it's a 48 for cross 48 gray scale images it consisting of seven different emotion of happy anger distinguished discussed sad surprised and neutral since the data set is very large i have previously downloaded it consisting of the true form training and the testing so let's get into the code part so this is the code part here i have created a virtual environment to install the dependencies and i have activated it i have activated it let's go to the model so the model as model consists of where yeah, i've imported the keras model from the tensorflow and it consisting of the dense dropout flatten and uh, convolution neural network i have i have read the train and the test data set in and I have assigned it to the train data and the test data object and I have taken the image generator so I have scaled it to the required one second I scaled it to the required form rescaled it rotated it zoomed it and I have horizontally flipped it so that I can pass it in the model and get the uh, required output in the efficient form you have used the train and generator the same thing I have since we are using the grayscale so we are using it to the grayscale 48 cross 48 the class mode i have taken test the category since we have seven different categories so for validating the data we are taken the same thing as seven different emotions and uh, models model so we are using the sequential model of the convolution neural network and the kernel size kernel size we are taken it as a three cross three and an activation function we are using it as an lru and the input size is 48 48 48 uh, using the max pulling max filling and we are considered the three layers of convolution neural network and uh, once and we are training it max we are training it and we have flattened it to the model and we have dense for dropout some when the data is passing from the one convolution neural network to the another convolution network we are dropping of 0 0.2 uh, and we have added the softmax since we are using a categorical classifications we are using the activation here as the softmax for different for different uh, classification you can use the different one and we have uh, used the loss as a categorical cross entropy for optimizer we are using it as an atom which is an adaptive modifi modifier here this optimizer this optimizer saves the architecture once you save the model uh, efficiently and it is optimizes the images metrics we have used accuracy we can use the prediction if you want if we want so we have saved we have printing the model summary and for once they have defined the, how the model architecture works using the different libraries of the python for training we have used the required data and uh, model we are taking the model and fitting that data into it and we are saving the model as model hd5 model which is an uh, hd5 architectural model definition we have taken here you can see that the different uh, images which is grayscale 48 cross 48 so let's for face recognition we have used the default at uh, xml which is uh, which is used to recognize the face in the different situation so here you can see so yeah so for test yeah this is the one for rec facial recognition we have used an open cv and uh, numpy module to label it and the keras module also uh, here we are capturing the image and passing that image frame into the cascade frontal face xml so once it has been passed into it it is gonna grayscale it and we are defining a crop shape of crop shape around the around the face and it is gonna it is gonna display what what's the emotion so before that we are gonna use open cv resize the face and uh, reshape it and label it so this captured frame is normalized and passed it into the model so how what we have what i have saved the model in, in the form of the hd5 format high definition format and that is gonna that is gonna predict the emotion and the result is we are gonna label it so once you press the Q button, it will stop predicting. So this is for video and this is for 
images once i can upload the image and i can get the prediction so let's let me run this so yep so i have taken the image one yep this is the different emotions that it has predicted so let me run the video one for each frame captured it is gonna so this is the facial emotion detection since the time was less i couldn't able to explain much of the code so if you have any doubt please do leave a comment i will leave the link for the code in the description